here guys and today we are talking about the new update to the DJI goggles system that came out today and all I gotta say is 50 megabytes per second that is the key feature there's a list of other features probably get covered on the other channels but I want to focus on this one piece of update here they have doubled the bit rate um, across the board on both the low latency mode and the high quality mode. And what does that mean for you? That means that you, the resultant DVR image to the DJI goggles themselves to the onboard SD card is going to have double the bit rate. That is double the bit rate, the image coming to your eyes, double the bit rate being saved to the SD card. Now, what does that mean? Does that actually affect what you see and what you feel? It's double the bit rate guys now bit rate this is a digital signal so whereas analog you kind of either have the signal or you don't and it fuzzes out digital is more like when you're streaming youtube or netflix when your bandwidth goes down the bit rate comes down the resolution comes down so if we have double the bit rate to work with the resolution can stay stronger the image can stay stronger the image can stay clearer and i've done some tests back to back i actually was testing this digi adapter last week I'm gonna have a review on that very soon and um so i went to the same spot i had been flying there and i flew some of the same parts because it was a piece of area that was very grassy um, so you can, I had a very long stretch I could fly low. There was a lot of ghost branch areas that you can fly through. And the old way, the main complaint was if you were going fast, low, the bit rate was not enough to be able to define those tiny little pieces of grass. So whereas like on a really good analog camera, um, going fast towards low grass, you actually have a little bit more detail. This gives you that detail back. So now you have the beautiful image of, HD and the grass or tiny branchy areas or tiny bushy areas don't get that sheer sheen fuzz pixelation that you would get before it can now resolve them uh, much clearer much cleaner you now have an image that is that much closer to an action camera now make no mistake it's still not on the par of a GoPro but it's much much closer to something like an Insta360 DVR from here is now better than ever. You don't get those shimmery, jagged, pixelated areas. So let's go pixel peeping, guys, and look. Right here, you can see side by side the old 25 megabit per second um, bit rate versus the new 50 megabit per second bit rates. Uh, and one of our local guys, Josh, was like, does it really make that big of a difference to what you're going to see in the goggles? 20 or 25 versus 50? Yes, it does make a big difference, as you can see. Uh, I'm just blown away. Um, a lot of times, if you're going fast enough and in just the right area, even with a DJI system, you can see a lot more detail, but there would still be some instances where you could um, see a ghost branch. Those are greatly diminished with this incredible update by DJI. Um, so this is like ghost branch busters. Oh, nice shooting, Tex. Now, I mean, you're never going to see those ghost branches hardly ever anymore. Uh, very impressive, much more confidence going through little gaps and stuff, but they did have to make some compromises. In order to get that bit rate, um, you now essentially, if multiple pilots are in the air flying on that 50 megabit per second setting, you really have like three usable channels. So this takes up like two or possibly three channels to get that extra bandwidth to transfer that bit rate back and forth. So you're not going to get eight people up in the air like this. Um, hopefully somebody will test if they can um, successfully get three people in the air at once using this mode. A lot of us that are flying by ourselves, a lot of us that really want the maximum amount of uh, data clarity, should you be going long range or mid range, should you be going bando bashing, you want all of the data available to you and this is one better. DJI is advancing these updates at an incredible rate. People are asking, is it going to be an upgrade? Is it going to be an upgrade? Is it going to be a version 2? DJI is not about upgrade. DJI is about update. They support the products at a level that we are not quite used to in the FPV world. There's no company in FPV, save for maybe Team Black Sheep, that 
you know, really supports their products for a long period of time, giving incremental updates. DJI is all about significant updates and doing them frequently. We just woke up this morning and I saw Ferrari post a picture of the update specs and we were like 50 megabytes per second. What is, what is that going to mean? What is that going to mean? So the local guys were saying, uh, are you going to let Ferrari put out a video before you do? And I was like, yeah, probably. I mean, he's like the DJI guy. He's like the Albert Kim of DJI tips. He gets the videos out right away. They were like, why don't you get off, off your lazy ass and go do something? So I went on my lunch break, got these packs, brought them to you. We'll see if I was able to beat Ferrari to the punch this time. Maybe I actually beat him at a DJI video. What do you think in the comments, guys? If you have not performed this update, do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Go straight to your computer. Update your goggles and all of your DJI quads. Um, go fly it. Let me know in the comments what you were thinking. This is a game changer. It's almost like seeing DJI um, FPV again for the second time. It's like that first time all over again because it's even better. It's even better. All of the shortcomings and uh, compromises that you used to see, the pixelation in the grassy areas, they are getting better and better. This is a huge advancement. So if you're not on board, if you didn't take advantage of that Father's Day sale, um, try to find somebody that's going to sell them to you. And if you did and they are arriving, you are one of the lucky ones because you're going to go straight to this 50 megabyte per second mode. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.